Hello, I'm going to show you how to make hummingbird nectar. And the way that I do this is I have one cup of sugar in this cup and I have four cups of water that I could either boil or put in the microwave. So far I have dissolved the water into the sugar and I'm stirring it up. And then after it's dissolved, you can put it in the refrigerator or in a cool area until it's uh, completely cool. And then you can put it in your hummingbird feeder. So I'd like to talk a little bit about hummingbird feeders. My hummingbird feeder is quite small. It's perfect size because I don't get too many hummingbirds at my feeder at one time, usually one or two. However, if you have a lot of hummingbirds at your feeder, you're going to want a bigger hummingbird feeder. This nectar recipe is very easy to make. And some tips on finding a good hummingbird feeder is to find one that's got red on it. Perhaps painted red or the um, bottom of the hummingbird feeder is red. Most people like hummingbird feeders that have bee guards on it. Now I don't need a bee guard because I keep my hummingbird feeder under my overhang where my kitchen window is, so I don't get any bees there. Another thing you want to think about is how hot does the nectar get during the day. If it's a sunny area, you're going to want to change the nectar once a day, perhaps twice a day, depending on how hot it is. Uh, during my hottest temperatures during the summer. I live in Northeast Ohio, planting zone 5B. So the hottest it'll get is about 95 degrees Celsius, maybe in August. Excuse me, Fahrenheit. <laughs> and on our coolest summer days, it'll be in the 70s degrees Fahrenheit. So of course, when it's 95, I'm going to change the water at least twice a day. Just until, I usually would just feel the hummingbird feeder, the glass part, and if it feels hot, then I'll change the nectar. I just use regular sugar. I don't use organic sugar. I don't like using organic sugar for the hummingbird feeder because I don't like the color of it. Plus the sugar does not last that long in my cupboard. So I just usually go with regular sugar and filtered water. Some people like to boil the water, they prefer that. And uh, some people like to microwave it. If you want it to get, it to get done quicker, the fastest way is to uh, microwave it, of course. Now I have several recipes for creating the nectar. You can use two cups of water and half a cup of sugar, or the recipe that you're seeing is one cup of sugar, four cups of water, which is actually one part sugar with four parts of water. I've been feeding the hummingbirds for over 25 years now. Every summer, I enjoy doing that. I first started off with uh, getting a hummingbird feeder with bee guards on it. And at that time, I needed the bee guards, so that worked out very well. And then I would go down to my local Walmart and get uh, hummingbird nectar. It was red in color. And it was um, already pre-made and then uh, one of my friends told me that 
he likes to make his own nectar. And so he told me this recipe. And ever since I started making my own nectar, I never purchased nectar anymore because I just like doing this so much easier. Of course, though, the liquid is clear. It looks like just pure water. And when it dissolves, you wouldn't see any sugar into the cup at all. And you might think, well, maybe red nectar bought would be better. And you have to be careful with that because some nectars have dyes in it, red dye, that could possibly be very harmful to the hummingbird. The one that I used to buy, I don't remember the brand, I think it was Perky Pet. I can't remember, it was so long ago, but I remember buying it at Walmart. There was nothing wrong with their nectar. It didn't have anything bad in it, but that was uh, 20 or more years ago. So I'm sure that it's just fine to go to your local Walmart or Lowell's and get hummingbird nectar if you wanted to. I like to make my own nectar because I just find that it's easier to, to make than to go down to the store and buy it and to come back home and just eat so much easier because I have the supplies in my own kitchen cupboard, just sugar, that's all you need, and water. My hummingbirds really like this nectar. They always come to my feeder every summer. I have a hummingbird that comes to the hum hummingbird feeder probably about every 20 minutes. And I've also taken video of them at the feeder, which is very fun to watch. Oh, this is dissolved. Actually, it's been dissolved for probably about a minute or so. It didn't really need to take that long. I put three cups in here because it, it wouldn't fill up to four. I particularly like a, to store my hummingbird nectar in a container that has a spout in it because it makes it much easier to pour the nectar into the feeder. Here's the spout here. You can use a measuring cup for that. That always has a spout on it and then you automatically know how many cups to put in because it's going to be identified here or on any type of measuring cup that you have. I like to use plastic because I don't have to worry about it breaking in the refrigerator because you have very hot nectar and you're putting it directly in the refrigerator which is very cold and you don't have to worry about a measuring cup breaking due to the extreme different temperatures. The hummingbird nectar has cooled from being in the refrigerator for a while, had it in for about an hour. some hummingbird nectar in my feeder. This is my hummingbird feeder. This is the one that I like best for my situation, for where I live. It does not have bee guards on it because I just simply don't have a lot of bees that, that hang out in the overhang. And it's got a very simple lid that opens and it is extremely easy to clean. I just use a, a little bit of hand soap and I wash it. Some people like to put their hummingbird feeders in the dishwasher to sterilize them. I have a hanger that I keep my hummingbird feeder on. I have many hummingbird feeders. I just happen to like this one the best for, uh, for my needs right now because I don't have too many hummingbirds so I don't need a lot of nectar. Of course so if you have a lot of hummingbirds you're going to need to use a lot of nectar and I just uh, hang it on my hanger. It's already got a hanger on it. If you were 
going to hang it a different way, perhaps in a tree, a good suggestion is zip ties. And you might have an issue with ants on your hummingbird feeder or on uh, the tree limb or even on the hanger that hangs on your home. I have a hanger that hangs on my house right next to my kitchen window. And when I notice that there are black ants or little ants on the feeder, I will put a solution of neem oil and cinnamon oil on the hanger or on, or you can also put it on the zip tie if it's hanging on a tree or on the branch of the tree. You can get that over at Lowell's. It's just a, a very little uh, container, probably about five ounces. It's very small and it's uh, right next to the bird feeder. This is the hanger that I like to hang my hummingbird feeder on. It's nice to have it by the window in case if you want to take videos of your hummingbird or photos. And uh, this is the, the hanger that I like to put the neem oil on and the cinnamon oil. Thank you for watching.